What's happening, everybody? Time for another NHL free pick. We're talking the Blackhawks at the Blues this Saturday, February the 12th. I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and we're brought to you by BetMGM. I want you guys to all check out the description of this video when it comes to an end. Find the link and get yourself hooked up with BetMGM. They're going to match your first deposit up to $560, so you do not want to miss out on that extra chunk of value. With me today, I've got Scott Rickenbaugh, the Bulldog from Picks and Parlays. You are 18 and 6 on our free pick videos, number one at the top of the leaderboards for all of 2022. How's it going, Scott? Going well and looking forward to this uh, Super Bowl weekend and definitely want to mix in some basketball and hockey wagers for sure. Yep, I'm with you on that one. It's not just all about that big game. They're going to be playing other stuff too, okay? Um, like hockey, for example. We're talking Chicago Blackhawks at the St. Louis Blues. Blues are minus 180. The total on it is six. What are you looking at here, Scott? I think we've got a real good matchup here. And before I get to it, just want to mention too, I really do try with these free picks, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to give you the best I can here. Same thing with the premiums. And uh, it has been a good start to 2022. And I just wanted to mention honesty and consistency. So important in this industry and about honesty. I had a horrible 2021. I had a tough year. Very rare for me though. Uh, there are 25 cappers at Picks and Parleys, a great group of cappers. And I'm fortunate enough to be number one so far this year. And about that consistency, I was also number one in 2020, number one in 2018, number three, 2019. That's out of 25 great cappers. So uh, appreciate you guys uh, following me there at Picks and Parlays and all the fine cappers uh, as it's a great roster there. And now let's talk about, about consistency here with these two teams, which we have some consistency about this matchup and what these teams are coming off of heading into this game that gives us some value here with this free pick, in my opinion. The Blues are off of a 7-4 to four home loss on Thursday to the Devils. They actually led that game in the third period, and then it got away from them, and they gave up a bunch of goals. This season, when the Blues are off of a game where they allowed five or more goals, that's only happened four times before it happened again on Thursday. They've allowed an average of just 1.8 goals in their game that follows an effort like that. And you look, this is a strong St. Louis team that's off back-to-back -back home losses. Before this, they had won five of their last six home games, and they allowed two or less goals in four of those five wins. They just don't give up much. Now enter the Blackhawks, one of the lowest scoring teams in the league. They're averaging just 2.4 goals per game. Uh, this season, and they've got a goaltender who I expect to be in the crease on Saturday by the name of Mark Andre Fleury, a very veteran, streaky goalie. And right now, he's coming off of a great effort at Edmonton. The Oilers threw everything but the kitchen sink at him in that game on Thursday in Alberta, and Edmonton just couldn't get stuff past him, just couldn't find the back of the net except one single time. And now, speaking of that streakiness with Fleury, the thing is, in five of his last six road games, he's been super strong and allowed two or less goals. So he's been tough away from home. I think St. Louis is going to play a very strong defensive game here. But at the same time, Chicago's going to get a good effort from Flurry between the pipes. And we should see a tight, low-scoring battle here. These teams have met two times so far this season. In the two games combined, there have only been a total of five goals scored in regulation. Here we're working with a total of five and a half or six. I think we've got good value with the under. I'm expecting the game to land around three or four goals. And if it gets to five, we still got a winner. I just don't see it getting past that when you consider the situational angles here. I'm going under the total in St. Louis for the Saturday matchup. All right. Well, I'm sad that Mark andre Fleury left the Knights, but I'm glad to hear that he's doing well with the Blackhawks, finally. <laughs> um, no, I love this pick. Let's roll under six when the Blackhawks take on the Blues. Now, Scott, what have you got lined up for this weekend over at picksandparlays.net? How are you feeling about the Super Bowl? What are your packages looking like for our viewers at home? So on the Super Bowl, I've already got a play up on the side, which will be my only play on the game, but I do like it a lot. And at the same time, going to be a good mixture of college hoops, NBA, and hockey this weekend as well. I love hockey. For those of you that don't know me, it's I'm most passionate about the sport of hockey, and it's also something that's been very successful for me from a betting standpoint here in Vegas 
and uh, love the pucks. And so hope you'll be on board for some action this weekend. Yeah, I've cashed on a lot of your hockey plays, so I appreciate those um, very much, <laughs> Thanks, sir. Alex. So check out Scott Rickenbaugh over at picksandparlays.net. That's where we keep his premium plays. And when you're there, use the promo code BOWL, B-O-W-L. It's going to save you 20% off. And don't get me wrong, you can buy one single game and a package. You can combine it with all kinds of stuff and just use that promo code. You'll save 20% off of anything on that site once it's all in your cart. Uh, so don't miss out on Scott's premium plays. He's hot. He's the leader of 2022, people. Until then, we're going to roll under six when the Blackhawks take on the Blues this Saturday.